How's it going guys? It's Jason here. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you my Jason Voorhees Friday the 13th action figure collection made up of NECA, McFarlane, Movie Maniacs, and Funko pop vinyls. So stay tuned and let's jump straight into it. And if you're a fan of these Jason Voorhees Friday the 13th action figures or the movie franchise, much appreciated if you give this uh, video a thumbs up. All right, so let's kick it off where it all began for me, and that is Movie Maniacs Series 1 by McFarlane Toys. These figures came out in 1998. They're all the same mold. There was three variants that were released. First up, you've got the non-bloody variant that doesn't have any blood splatter on it, and this was for uh, Toys R Us and Kmart releases. Uh, next up, you've got the bloody release, which I believe is the most common uh, release of all, where you can see blood splatter on his chest, and sometimes there's um, some on his shoe there as well. Uh, the, also, the weapons have a bit more blood on them compared to the non-bloody variant. And then finally, uh, we've got the ultra-bloody variant, which came with a movie poster sticker on the front, with all the Movie Maniacs figures, you've got the movie poster, Friday the 13th replica, Jason Goes to Hell in the background there. They're all the same on all three figures. And this one comes with a stack of blood. There's blood also on the uh, blister. And uh, yeah, the, cut, the figure is drenched in blood, which is probably the least most screen accurate because uh, Jason never really got much blood on him. If anything, that uh, variant would be the most accurate one. Uh, in 1999, a year after Movie Maniac Series 1, uh, this box set, the Jason Voorhees Friday the 13th and Freddy Krueger Nightmare on Elm Street box set uh, was released. Now, this came out years before the Freddy vs. Jason movie, so this was not uh, anything to do with it. Um, but I will show later. I've got the um, NECA box set there, which I'll uh, do a comparison with. Uh, this is the same mold as the Jason from there. It's the bloody variant, so you can see the blood on his chest. There's also some blood on his feet. Uh, this came out for Movie Maniac Series 2. Uh, he also comes with all his weapons there, as well as the Freddy Krueger that was re released in Movie Maniac Series 1. Funny thing about this one is there's actually a typo on the tombstone, the Jason Voorhees tombstone. There's uh, It's spelt with only one O. Where Voorhees is um, V double O R H double -E S, so I found that pretty funny. All uh, releases came with that typo. And finally, for McFarlane Movie Maniac Series Five, uh, McFarlane released Jason X, um, the Jason Voorhees figure, uh, which looks awesome, but is pretty much a plastic statue. There is no articulation. He's pretty got. He's got one shoulder. Uh, rotates, his neck rotates, and everything else is just one solid piece. But the mold is very good. Uh, the paint job's awesome. It's got his futuristic sword as well as the movie poster replica there. And I'll just show you the back quickly on that one. And there's all the other figures that came out in Movie Maniac Series 5. So that is the complete, that's all the releases of Jason Voorhees from McFarlane Toys. Okay, so here in 2004, NECA released the Freddy vs. Jason two-pack box set. Uh, and this figure was, these figures were based off of the Freddy vs. Jason movie um, when compared to the McFarlane release, which was prior to the movie. These are based on just the standard Movie Maniac Series 1 releases. These ones were based on the mold of the Freddy vs. Jason characters uh, from the movie. It looks very accurate. Uh, Freddy comes with his alternate demon head, which is pretty cool. Uh, and uh, Jason is... Uh, the awesome thing about this is that they scale. So Jason is a lot taller than Freddy, and you can see here, whereas the McFarlane release, they're both the same height. Uh, so NECA also got the um, movie details spot on with the outfit. Uh, there's also an alternate Freddy head as well with Jason's hand there. So uh, just like the end of the movie, um, Jason can hold uh, Freddy's severed head and comes with a awesome flaming base, which is really cool. Uh, here we've got the Cult Classics uh, release, which was in 2005, and this is for Friday the 13th, The New Blood, Part 7. Uh, this is probably my favourite Jason figure that NECA's ever released. Uh, it is awesomely detailed. 
Uh, comes with his axe, harpoon, and uh, signature machete. The Cult Classic series was awesome because it uh, came with a really detailed base. You can see there with the tree stump and forest. Uh, so that was really cool. And the detail on this figure, he's got a, a plastic chain uh, around his neck. If I just flip this box around, uh, you can see the packaging there. The mask is actually removable, which is a great feature on this. The um, Movie Maniacs figure, uh, the mask is not removable. And yeah, the, the outfit just is awesomely detailed. You can see the, the shirt is all cut up and moldy. You can see his rib cage exposed uh, through the torn shirt. His pants are ripped and his kneecap so he's got bone and rotting flesh exposed. This figure is just all around an awesome figure, and it is an absolute beast. So another series from NECA is the Cloth Retro Figures. This is Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th Part 2. NECA's released quite a few in this series. They've got about four or five uh, Jason Voorhees figures, including a Corpse Pamela Retro Cloth, which recently came out, which I want to pick up as well. But this is the Friday the 13th Part 2 Sackhead Jason. Comes with his pickaxe as well as uh, Pitchfork. And the machete, uh, which is really cool. And I was able to find one in the box that you could actually see his eye through the hole in the um, uh, potato sack, which I thought was really cool because um, a lot of the other ones that I've seen, uh, you cannot, um, you can't see his eye. Uh, so that was really cool. There's a write up if you want to read it. Uh, and this figure was released in 2004. Uh, so I'm really happy with them. They're 8 inches tall as opposed to the 7-inch Ultimate, which I'll cover next. So let's jump straight into it. So I'm going to cover these Ultimate figures in um, the order of the movie releases, not the order that the figures were released in uh, because it wasn't in chronological order. But let's start with Friday the 13th, the NES video game variant because we all know the original Friday the 13th, it was Pamela Voorhees, uh, Jason Voorhees' mum, who was the killer, and Jason Voorhees didn't actually feature in the movie, well, adult Jason at least. So we're going to cover the NES version. This came out in 2015. The, the first um, ultimate Jason Voorhees Friday the 13th figure was actually Jason Voorhees Part 6, but I think this came out soon after as a San Diego exclusive glow-in-the-dark figure. Uh, this was the later release. This actually plays the theme music to Friday the 13th from the NES video game, although I think the battery needs to be changed because it's actually not uh, playing that well. But what I really like about this box, if you just ignore the music, sorry guys, um, is that it says you and your friends are dead, game over. So that's obviously a screenshot from the video game. And you've got the health bar there, which is really cool. So it looks exactly like the video game. He's got his Nez colors, his uh, blues and aqua. Uh, his mask is removable. He's got the ultimate articulation. He comes with his axe just there, as well as um, the Pamela Voorhees severed head, which is really cool. The mummified head. I'm going to close that. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. So that came out in 2015, and he also comes with his machete as well. And the removable mask there. So that's pretty cool. Moving on to Friday the 13th Part 2. This is the iconic Sackhead variant. I'm just going to put the uh, retro cloth one here for comparison. Uh, so Friday the 13th Part 2 came out in 2018. Here's the box there. Uh, and this is obviously the Sackhead variant. And you see Pamela Voorhees mummified corpse head. Uh, and as you open the box, which I love the display how the ultimate figures are displayed in these uh, front flap boxes. You've got artwork there, and here's the figure, uh, which looks awesome. Uh, so quite similar to the retro cloth one. He's got his um, uh, overalls on the sack head where you can see his angry eye there. Uh, he's got an alternate head, which is really cool. Uh, his disfigured head there. And Pamela Voorhees' mummified uh, severed head comes with a kitchen knife as well as the campfire 
there and the flame which can attach to it. An arsenal of weapons. He's got a bloody pickaxe, a bloody fork, a spear there, as well as a machete. So that is a very awesome release there. But continuing on, in 2016, a year after the NES release, we had Friday the 13th Part 3, the 3D variant, and there's a lenticular 3D cover, which is really cool. Uh, and we'll open up the figure. And this is probably the most common... Uh, Jason Voorhees uh, look that um, uh, it's the first movie where he donned, donned the uh, hockey mask uh, which is an awesome feature comes with his uh, knife wrench uh, the pitchfork the um, iron poker the fire poker the machete axe as well as a harpoon gun for that scene uh, in uh, by the river on the dock. That is awesome. There's some images there. So that is Jason Voorhees, Friday the 13th, part three. All right, so here we have the next three, Friday the 13th, Jason Voorhees figures, ultimate figures by NECA. We've got the final chapter one here, part four. And uh, I'll just show you the box quickly. This one's a very cool release. It looks uh, a little bit uh, pretty similar to part three. Open the box here, and his arsenal we of weapons is just awesome so he comes with a cleaver uh bloodied knife the corkscrew alternate hand hacksaw bloodied hacksaw love the blood splatter on this the machete which is completely covered in blood the axe pamela Voorhees tombstone and two alternate heads which is the um standard head so you've got a standard head which is uh, got a bit of blood splatter on it, and then the battle damaged head and mask as well. So if we go to the back, I think you can see the differences. Um, the blood splatter head has a, a hole. He's got a slice to his head that you can put the knife through, and then his standard head. Following year in 2018, uh, Friday the 13th Part 5, A New Beginning, Jason was released. And this is the uh, like dream sequence uh jason Voorhees release uh which has some really uh interesting uh, quite original uh alternate heads so it comes with four alternate heads which is really cool it's got the worms coming out of the mask uh when he pops out of the in the graveyard uh and the nightmare hockey mask uh also has the blood dripping down his mask variant and then a camo style mask which is really cool as well Comes with his bloodied axe. Comes with his severed hand, which is nice and gory, split in two, similar to the quarter scale release of this figure, as well as machete, uh, pick, and Jason Voorhees tombstone. So that is uh, really cool there. Uh, this is the second uh, release of the Friday the 13th Part 5, A New Beginning. And uh, there's the cover. You can actually see there the head sculpt to the or well, the mask which is on the cover of the movie uh the back here and this is the roy burns release which is cool this came out in 2019 one of the final releases uh that NECA brought out ultimate releases uh hopefully they get the license back because i really want to see an ultimate variant of this beast that will be insane but uh, this is the Roy Burns one. We'll open it up and check out his figure and accessories. The outfit is quite plain, uh, just like in the movie. It's got the uh, battle damage, like slash, bloodied slash through it. It's got his uh, mask with the blue stripes. Comes with his road flare, uh, bloodied machete, which, uh, not machete, uh, bloodied meat cleaver, which looks really awesome, as well as a giant spear there. Bloodied Machete, uh, alternate hand as well, uh, the Garote, uh, the Spike, hedge trimmers up there in the top right, as well as a bloodied knife. I like the um, amount of blood on those uh, accessories as well. It looks really cool. So that is Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th, Part 5, Roy Burns figure. So here we've got the Friday the 13th, Part 6, Jason Lives, Jason Voorhees figure. This was the first ultimate figure, uh, ultimate Jason figure that NECA released. It wasn't the first um, ultimate figure. That was the Freddy Krueger 
uh, Nightmare on Elm Street figure, which was awesome. Uh, I've got that, and we'll do a K Freddy Krueger collection update in my video uh, on my channel. Uh, but here we have the Jason Voorhees one. It comes with an alternate head, which is awesome, as well as mask. Uh, his outfit is really cool, detailed. All the figures, all these ultimate figures, have massive amounts of articulation. Uh, 22 points, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Comes with this tool belt around his waist. Also comes with a fence post uh, accessory, as well as the um, machete, knife, alternate hand, and... The Tombstone, Jason Voorhees Tombstone. So that's a really cool one there. Next up, we've got the Ultimate Jason Voorhees from Freddy vs. Jason. I've got the uh, Freddy vs. Jason 2-pack by NECA, which came out in 2004. Uh, so that's 15 years after. So I'll do a comparison of the two. Uh, this one came out in 2019. Uh, and this one is just very impressive. An awesome Ultimate figure. Uh, one of the final ones. So let's open him up. Let's check him out. And there you go, there's a product shot of the Voyes, uh, Jason Voyes from Freddy vs. Jason. This figure is cool too because it's a, it's taller than the other Ultimate uh, Jason figures, which is realistic uh, because in Freddy vs. Jason, he's an absolute monster. The um, outfit looks really cool. The jacket's very moldy. You can see on his um, arm there uh, and his pants as well. They're all uh, quite old and mouldy. Uh, the accessories are awesome. Comes with three alternate masks. It's got his, uh, on the right there, the scratched mask where uh, Freddy Krueger has slashed up his mask. The standard undamaged one and then the blood-soaked one, which is probably my favourite. That is, That just looks awesome. Uh, comes with his teddy bear there on the right there as well as some of the accessories which are the standard and bloody machetes and you can attach the fire feature to that which is really cool uh i think there's some photos there yeah so that's a really cool effect uh and then for comparison of the two uh they're similar size uh but this figure uh, NECA figure in 2004 just has um, minimal articulation, no leg articulation, uh, the shoulders rotate and the neck rotates, I think the hands and maybe the forearms rotate, but this figure has ball joint shoulders, um, rotate rotates not just uh, twists at the elbow but actually bends as well, uh, as well as the uh, legs have knee crutch uh, joints so there's a lot more articulation in this figure and uh, I think the mold is slightly improved as well as the paint job and also the accessories as well this one he comes with his machete uh, and then the alternate hand that has the severed head um, the advantage is this one does come with a base whereas the um, the ultimate figures don't have a base which I think is a is a missed opportunity there as an ultimate figure. I would have really loved for these figures to come with bases, just like the um, cult classics figures. They uh, they look really awesome. And finally, we have the uh, remake Friday the 13th, Jason Voorhees. Uh, just show the box there. This also came out in 2019. There's some product shots of the figure. And let's open him up and check him out. That is, uh, so this figure is also a taller uh, Jason Voorhees figure uh, because he's a monster in this film as well. Comes with the two alternate heads, his um, sheets like mummy head as well as the signature face sculpt. Uh, comes with his axe, alternate hand, uh, screwdriver, ice pick, fire poker as well as the signature machete there and his outfit looks really awesome. Big uh, jacket and um, cut up um, shirt there. Looks really moldy uh, and good detail on the uh, pants as well. And uh, great articulation that you come to expect from these ultimate figures. Finally, we have the Camp Crystal Lake accessory pack. This accessory pack came out in 2018. And if you just flip onto the back, some of the accessories that come in this set is the Camp Crystal Lake sign, uh, which looks awesome displayed behind any of the ultimate Jason Voorhees figures. The base dock 
from Friday the 13th Part 3 with the light, which is awesome, where Jason Voorhees uses his spear gun uh, to shoot the uh the girl in the eye which is awesome so that is a perfect display that oh, you can see it just set up there and that is the friday the 13th accessory box set and next up we have jason Voorhees from friday the 13th these figures are both from NECA, uh and you can just see the difference in the scaling the 18 inch variant as well as the quarter scale the quarter scale just towers over the 18 inch figure but this one uh was uh, released in 2003. It was actually my first NECA 18-inch figure from Friday the 13th Part 7, even though it doesn't say there. It's um, the new blood, which looks insane and for its time is amazing. The detail is awesome. It's just, I wish it was a larger scale, so it's scaled with the quarter scale figures, but it's great. It has a removable mask, uh, awesome detail showing his um, skeleton. Comes with a machete, as well as the axe and harpoon, which is really cool. Uh, so lots of features on this figure. The articulation isn't that great, uh, but just looks an amazing uh, figure for its time. So then 15 years later, in 2018, NECA releases the quarter scale Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th, uh, the final chapter. This figure is gigantic. It weighs a ton. Comes with two alternate heads, the uh, battle damaged head sculpt, which looks awesome, very gruesome, lots of blood, um, and removable mask, and there's a bloodied head sculpt in the background there. Also comes with a lot more articulation uh, with this variant, as well as the severed hand, a knife, machete, and axe, which is also very cool. Uh, I'll just show you the boxes just quickly. So yes, this is this also has the um, motion activated sound for the figure. And the box for the quarter scale final chapter, Jason Voyes. Some very nice artwork there. Put the um, machete right through his face. So there you go, there's the Jason Voorhees uh, figures. All right, and here we have the Funko Pop Vinyl and Bobblehead figures in my collection. First up, we've got the Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees two-pack. Now, they say this is uh, not the Freddy vs. Jason uh, figures, but they look pretty similar. Uh, they look awesome. Freddy's uh, face is all cut up. Uh, and it's got blood splatter on it. Both figures have blood splatter. Um, Jason has the Chevron uh, logo on his mask um, and a bloodied uh, machete, signature machete. I'll just show you the box quickly. So this came out in 2016, and that's pretty cool. I don't have them individually because I bought the two-pack, so... Uh, although these figures were both released individually with glow-in-the-dark um, chase variants, which I also don't have. Uh, also in 2016 was the Friday the 13th Part 5 Roy Burns, uh, Jason Voorhees, uh, where he's got the blue um, uh, triangles in the mask. I do like how the um, paint... Uh, is brushed on the mask that looks really cool and the blue uh, boiler suit uh, so that looks really cool I think that's been vaulted now that pop which is really cool most recently in 2018 we've got the sackhead Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th part 2 uh, and he's got his pickaxe there which is cool and his um overalls blue overalls and then finally we have the bobblehead wacky wobbler bobblehead by funko this was released all the way back in 2010 so it's very old uh and has the uh, machete bloody machete and outfit looks very cool jason Voorhees. all right guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button let me know in the comments which ones are your favorite figures or friday the 13th movies uh, and don't forget to subscribe. We've got more action figure videos on my channel. I'll speak to you soon. See ya.